Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how will happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? 
I really have this car out. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. Luck with the car.
Silas Doc Boy. Yikes. This is too weird. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was, there was noises all around hey, me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Yes, there we go. Burn like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, man. All right, you're not helping right now. Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, fuck! Oh, my God, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah. Uh, well, we were just driving, and it's really, really dark out here, and, um, I don't know, we, we must have hit, like, a, a pothole or something, because we swerved, and now here we are. I mean, I'm, these roads are really not in great shape. Yeah. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this guy like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal.
Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay, fine, yeah. We'll head to the motel, understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Uh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Oh, you need like Have a, a statement? good night. Why is this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo vibes. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. Get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here.
You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anybody home? Damn it. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Hey, you ready to roll? some help. I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, no, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so...
Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Yeah, okay. Wrenches. Damn. You need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. What are you doing? I'm just... You know, I'm scoping it out. Max? Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... <laughs> Thank you. 
my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. No, shame. Though I suppose it's your decision to make. And really, that's the whole point, isn't it? There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Jake, bags, focus. Oh, hey, this is Emma's. You, 
you spider fuck! Ha! Eat it. I wonder what's killing the deer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, sign. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the whole Good to know. The fire? Only her body was recovered, along with the North Kill Sheriff and the No sign of Hello. That's fucking rad. Uh whatever, man. Hello? That's fucking rad. Uh, Whatever, man. <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bad. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on with this thing. It's just Dylan. Please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Dipshit's bolted it? Really? They locked me out. Who? Who do you think? Ugh, we'll find another way in. Use your big boy brain.
Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Skill. <sighs> oh, double skill. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. This place needs a serious overhaul. Oh! Jesus. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck.
All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Okay, I'm gonna need you back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. I mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you... are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Oh, should we test that theory? But I gotta save some for the ride home. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you'll find some way to fill the awkward silence. <laughs> yep, gonna be a super fun, not-at-all awkward ride. Thanks for that, bud. Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? <sighs> well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see... Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Do, 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 Go long. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> Surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. 
I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I... Peace and love, man. I... I... Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aw, this was little Izzy's. Probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Why would this place be in the news?
going to be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. is not going to be happy that the kids are like this one. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Jacob hasn't seen this. <laughs> 